Hey guys, it's Mike from Mike Stickers here. So one of my subscribers was asking me to show my, uh, I guess my laminator dispenser, how I, how I have it set up. Now I made this myself. It's one of the first things I made. It's very cheap, inexpensive. I made it with scrap wood. It's really not made well at all. I originally made it one way and then decided that didn't work. So I just improvised. I need to completely redo it. But basically, it's just two by four that I have lengthwise and then I cut a piece on each side to basically hold the the dowel rod. I used an old like you know I don't know this was from my, my kid he had like a little toy TP set or something that broke and I used this dowel rod off of it and um, if I did it all over again I would make it the correct size. When I originally did this, I didn't know how long, you know, how wide all the different material came. I was trying to go as wide as I could with everything. I don't remember how wide this is, but basically I only need it 20 inches wide. All this is extra that I don't need. And I put this spacer here. I cut a piece of cardboard tube and I have some, um, the three inch, I don't know. I forget what you call these things. They're, um, they're these things here that um, I'm trying to remember what I got them with. I don't remember if I got them with uh, some sort of these sort of rolls or with something else, but they came with something that I got shipped. Okay, so they're like three inch adapters. It has like a one inch in the middle and then three inch on the outside, which is what the rolls are. So it makes it sit on there nice and roll without it dropping up and down on the dowel rod. And um, I took one of those and cut it out here just so that it has a little spacer and that also it can rotate okay without binding up on the bolt. I cut a, uh, put a hole through the dowel rod to put a little bolt with a nut and that's just to keep it in place. When I, whenever I want to swap this out, and put on a new one I just uh, actually I, I do it from the other side but I take that nut and bolt out right there slide all this stuff off put a new roll on and then put that back on as you can see it's just basically notched on the top where it sits down originally I made it to fit down here but that had it too low so I'll um you know I said this is not the way that I would do it if I did it again because I would make it the exact size I would cut it right here, make it where it might have a little bit of movement to the side, like maybe a half inch movement from side to side, but that's it. Just to give a little bit of play so it didn't bind up. And um, you know, I'll give you an example of how I use it because I also have my cutter right here lined up with it. Basically, I pull it out from there, pull it through the cutter, and then I cut. Uh, I do have some other videos showing specifically how to do that, but I haven't really shown, I guess, any close-ups of how the actual, um, you know, the holder was made. So I don't feel that you need to notch it on the top. You could have whole circles, but it's basically because I had already made these, and then when I needed to add some other ones, I couldn't get too close to this hole without it blowing out, so I just did it like I did it. I can drop it straight down from the top. So... It works out for what I'm trying to do. I haven't needed to change it yet because it still works, but one day when I get around to it, I am going to change it up. So nothing fancy, but it works. So I just pull it like this underneath this plastic guide. There's a plastic guide here that lifts up and it has some place so you can fit it underneath there. All the sheets that I cut are usually about 24 inches. There's a few reasons why it's easy for me to handle it. Fits on my table as well. Um, and then I can turn it like this because this is 24 inches. And I can cut down the side so that the laminate doesn't accidentally go over the edge when I'm rolling the laminate through. So anyways, that's how it works for me. Um, I would make some changes if I were to redo it for sure. But it's cheap effective you know it works i built it with all the scrap material that i had laying around the house so anyways that's what works